Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you may be from around the world. This is Arjuna Arjuna, and I'm making a video today during the middle of a quarantine. We got a lot of stuff that we can't do. We can't go outside, we can't do anything out in the real world, so we're stuck at home. So I'm making this video, hopefully you guys can just consume some of this crappy content. And if you like it, maybe if you like it, smash that like button. <laughs> I had to say that at least once in my channel. I won't ever get off, promise. Anyway, I... I figure there's no better time to create something that other people can watch and something that I can do from home that I can actually do and like okay so I'm trying to entertain y'all and I want to make this video on pheromones I had of just I had an idea a little bit ago I was thinking like you know a lot of my channel a lot of videos on my channel have to do with pheromones and because uh that's a really hot topic on my channel I and I've discussed this a lot and I have a lot of videos on it Quite a few actually, but I've never really done a video on my entire collection. And this is like my little black box, except it's a yellow box. It has uh, some other toys in it as well. Um, but this is basically my arsenal. This is how I get by in the real world. Oh, and of course, some Imodium. You never know when that's going to come in handy. I don't know. I was just in here because I was moving. Okay, so all my pheromones are in here, right? All my pheromones, my... My oils, my uh, crystals, all my like, witchcraft stuff. And, like, you know, this is just an awesome box. So I'm just going to go through everything of my pheromones. I'm just going to go list them one by one, explain my experience with them, talk about it for a little bit. And just as a disclaimer in the video, uh, I do talk about quite a bit of pheromones, quite a, quite a few different vendors, uh, all of whom I am talking about are good people and good uh, vendors definitely recommend if you if any one of these strikes out as very curious to you or something you want to try or something that you may benefit from in your real life uh, go ahead and purchase it from the corresponding vendors uh, i do get uh, i am an affiliate for pheromone xs however uh, all my reviews are 100 percent honest and accurate and from my own heart but i do get a little bit of kickback if you purchase the pheromone excess products through my link so if you want to do that it'd be awesome to support my channel if not do whatever you want to do hope you're staying safe and let's get down to business all right so this is the first thing that just popped into my head popped into my hand this is what we call glow let me just focus this glow glow is basically who this is a unisex pheromone this any gender can wear this, either men or female, and it's supposed to emulate that feeling that after that special time, after you have some fun, that feeling, that glow that you get, this is supposed to give you that, um, it's supposed to emulate that glow, and that's why it's called glow. It's filled with copulence. It's got an insane amount of copulence, I think. Uh, not as much as Desire Me itself, but it's got a pretty hefty amount. It's a healthy amount, and it smells like it too, but... The greatest thing is, like, both genders can use this. Both genders will be able to give that effect or show that effect as if they just had some fun. And, and here, the advantages of that is, you know, like, a lot of people, you kind of know that you can actually tell somebody if somebody has had a s certain sexy time because of how they may be acting or the, how they may appear. Uh, there's something about their aura. Let me just adjust this stuff. Something about their aura that... that gives it away and that makes it seem like they've just had a good time or that they're really interesting people to get to know so this right here is good for mostly nighttime use but also it has its per perks in the daytime as well it makes people think that you are someone to to look up to it, it gives you a sort of status it gives you a sort of respect but it's not outright alpha respect but it's like a different kind of respect like oh okay that person <laughs> they know how to have some fun. Okay. Next up. This is Alpha Q. Okay. This is by Johnny O. From Sick Jewelry. This. I gotta tell you. Pretty sure this was formulated by Gary. In fact, I know both. I'm pretty sure, Like 100% sure. That. Uh, Alpha Q is. But I'm not sure about Casanova. I want to say it is. But. These are some. Bomb designer fragrances, man. Like. I'm telling you. Like. When it comes to actual fragrance, uh, I'm not too much of a connoisseur in colognes and perfumes, but I like to think that I know a thing or two about them because I, most of the time I use unscented pheromones, and you know, like they're not the greatest smelling things in the world. So you need something that has 
a good smell if they cover it up. Because you don't want to be going around all day smelling like sweat and shit. So, I feel like I have an appreciation for colognes. And let me tell you, both of these, right? Casanova and Johnny O. I'm sorry, Casanova and Alpha Q are both top-notch fragrances. As far as the pheromone effects, they're pretty solid. Both of them have a status effect. Both of them give you this, like, you know how I was mentioning status with the uh, glow? It's not the same kind of status. With these two, it's very specifically alpha status. And it's very usable in daytime. A lot of the times usable in work applications. I've used it at nighttime applications too when going out. And it gives an, both of them give an aura of respect. And like manly man, think of it like James Bond or Casanova. That's the name of what it's called. Like it's the effect that it's meant to give you. All right, next up, here's my oil, Desire Me. Focus. Desire Me. Desire Me is just straight copy lens, man. This is some strong, potent stuff. It's like extremely potent stuff. I'm pretty sure when I first got it, it wasn't the same formulation. Something in it might have changed because it always has been a little bit sweet. Even the first bottle that I got. This is my second oil bottle that I've ever got of uh, Desire Me. I, I feel like this one is a little bit sweeter. I'm not sure if they changed the formula or not. Excess changed, if, I don't know if Excess changed the formula. But this is straight copy lens. I've made videos before, uh, one video specifically on copy lens in the past. And I talk about Desire Me oil. So this is something that is very much copy lens is inside glow as well this is almost the same product but they're different enough formulations and different enough purposes to where they weren't having uh two different two different products vibes vibes excess vibes this one this one is a social it's the second time i've ever bought no let me I'm lying. It's the first time I've ever bought this 30 milliliter spray. And as you can tell, I like to get the bigger bottles as much as possible, as often as I can. Um, these, it's a very good social pheromone. I get it unscented. Vibes is like, it, it's not, it's for men and women. And the way it works is like, it, it makes you appear like the energetic individual at a party. If you're using it in a social setting, if you're using it with, with a group, with a night out, with a group of your friends, or if you're using it, um, when you go to a party, it's really useful because it gives people the, the thought of, oh, who is this person? Very interesting. They got some good energy. And like, it's not outright attracting by itself, but it does play have a large part to play in attraction when it comes to being yourself, especially if you are if you are who you are and you're congruent with who you are. Using this pheromone, Vibes, it gives you a vibe. And that's why it's called Vibe. It's like, I don't want to keep saying the same word, Vibe, 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 Vibe. Because just imagine like being present, being in the moment, being cool, collected. This vibes with <laughs> everything and as whoever you are, like the person you are, this is good for you. All right, exist. That dang light. Exist. This is my. One of my go-to products. This is by Pheromone Exa. This is, I want to say this is the third, no, this is the fourth bottle that I bought. I bought this four freaking times. <laughs> it's so good, man. Like, this is solid stuff. Excess Pheromone, I've made a couple of videos on it, actually. It's like, it's that solid of a product. And I know I sound like I'm very, really fanboying, but man, I wouldn't have bought four bottles of this dang stuff if it weren't re legit. It's totally legit. It, uh has multiple effects. One of it is a friend, bu friend zone buster. And imagine a, something that can actually get you out of the friend zone. I've experienced it firsthand. It has happened with this. So it's something that every man should have in his arsenal. It is so useful to have. It also resets other people's perception of you. Let's say, for instance, you uh, were talking to this chick and for some some reason you really messed up the your impression with her and it totally shut her off of many attractiveness that you may have if you ever get a chance to go around that person again if preferably repeatedly you wearing one of these it resets that whatever you however weird vibe you might have given off to her it resets that and she will give you a chance again uh at least that's what it's supposed to work like that's how it's worked for me i can't say it will and do that as a promise that it'll work for you uh, but 
for myself and almost every other person that I've seen, this has worked. And this is a flagship product, something that they stand by and something they sell day, day in, day out. All right, XS193. This product right here, XS193, is a spinoff of Exist. Exist, like I said, is a is a friend zone buster, but also it has another effect of being the perfect boyfriend. So this is XS193, and I don't know if it has officially made it to uh, the actual uh, official product. When I got it, it was still um, in the XS series, which is the experimental series. They're experimenting on a new formula. And this basically takes everything that's in Exist when it comes to being boyfriend material and amplifies that to give that effect on the first try. The thing with Exist is, in order to get the desirable effects that it has, it almost requires three, four, five, sometimes even to up to 10 exposures in your target. Like your target has to see you 10 times wearing this in order to get the full benefits of it. But the way XS193 works, it tries to give you a lot of that benefit all the way at the beginning, the first time you're wearing it, or the first time the other person experiences you. Uh, this is a very useful product. I've got, what is this, 10 milliliters? Um, almost down to zero. It is something that I don't use anymore because I'm already in a committed relationship with the love of my life. So this is just sitting here collecting dust. I don't know if somebody wants this, let me know. I'll mail this out to you. Give you like give it to you for like a few bucks, just cover shipping or something. I'm not really trying to make money off it. Ascend. Ascend. I love this stuff. This stuff. This is the first ever bottle of Ascend that I got. This is the oil format. And the thing about the oil is this works really, really well. Uh, but the reason that I ended up buying a second bottle, this still has some stuff in it. But the reason I don't use this one is because it's the, it's scented. And this is one of my first purchases that I've ever made with pheromones. Uh, with excess anyway. And when I made the purchase, I bought the this three pack. It's Ascend, Cohesion, and Evolve. And I bought all three together. And I wanted to try the Sultan's Oud fragrance. And while I love the fragrance, I absolutely adore it. I am not able to mix and match with other pheromones. Because when you use Ascend, and it has a very specific uh, scent, I can't mix it with something else that also has a fragrance. Um, that's why after this experience of buying this in scented format, everything else that I bought has been unscented. If I had a choice, if I had the option to get something that was not scented, I went ahead and did that. That's what I prefer to do from like day in, day out now, whenever I buy pheromones. But there's a little bit of a scent left. As you can see, uh, I have video on Ascend as well. It's a very good video. <laughs> Just kidding. It's, it's a very good product. And... This is something that I do recommend for any men to have in your arsenal, along with Exist, Exist, and Ascend, because Ascend gives you status. Ascend is kind of like uh, Alpha Q in the sense that it has the Alpha effect. It gives you the Alpha effect, and uh, it's very usable in work settings, but it's also usable in nighttime club settings and all that. And it's versatile. It has co copulins in it as well. So the fact that it is scented is good because <laughs> it covers up that, that copulin fragrance. But um, I don't really use this much anymore, the Ascend. I still have maybe a third of a bottle. Uh, if you want it, let me know. I'll sell it to you. Uh, or not. Whatever. So just basically pay for shipping and however much is worth. How much it's worth. Let's see. Taboo. This is another thing that I definitely believe should be in every man's arsenal. So this is something that I have experienced a long time ago and one of the experiences that I've had with uh, Taboo especially when combined with Exist this is a type of formula that will really surprise you this is the first pheromone that gave me outright effects or outright results and it was so mind-blowing to me so mind-blowing that I bought an entire bottle and this is actually my second bottle the first time I ever got it was in a sample pack it was a small sample of about this size it was about this size in fact, this is a tab taboo sample pack, but I got it a long time ago, back in 2014, and I combined it with connections, and I had the most 
results from any pheromone that I'd ever had in my life up until that point. And I had spent like $800 at Androtix Direct. And the first time that I used Connections and Taboo together, man, I had so many results from so many ladies. Like people, like ladies looking at me, starting up conversations with me and looking me up and down, like really checking me out. And it was really, really intense. So I've been buying them ever since, buying Taboo ever since. Something that I definitely recommend and think that every man should have in our arsenal. So I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to start moving it back a little bit. I can do this in order. So if you're still watching up to this point, I appreciate it, guys really helps with uh, my YouTube channel to know that people are watching this far in advance. If you're still watching and you like what I'm saying, please check out some pheromones if you haven't gotten them already. Go for it. You, may, you will like it. So this video is going to be stopped in a little bit, but I'm going to continue again. I'm going to edit some other portions into it because uh, I'm running out of time on my camera. So well, let's move on to the next one. This is Connections. This is the very first bottle that I bought connections and this is almost half gone because i mean this is something that most people don't really think that you can use it on a daily basis or people don't think it's a a standard daily use product but i think it is i think it is but i definitely wouldn't recommend getting this unless um you're sure that you're going to use this on a daily basis because connections oil is a lot like there's a lot of oil in here and it can last you a couple years, especially because you don't really don't need that much. You really don't need that much. You need like half a drop. That's all you need to, to actually get the effects of it. Connections helps with building trust. It helps with building deep connections. Duh, that's why it's called connections. Um, it's, it's really useful when it comes to... It, there's something about one of the ingredients in there called uh, beta androstenol. It's known to be a truth serum type deal. And because of that... A lot of companies warn warn people, like, if you're going to use uh, beta androstenol, you better be prepared for them to tell you the whole truth. And sometimes it can be dark. And I have experienced that. And I have experienced people who would not, I, they didn't understand why they were telling me such deep and personal uh, topics. But the conversation ended up to be really awesome because it just developed, uh, it, it really developed deep and meaningful relationship with the people that are, around me when I'm communicating with them while wearing this stuff. XS170. I, oh, I got this, I believe, either as a sample or Steve-O sent this to me uh, in order to test this. Test it. This is a dominant Ascent. It's basically like Ascent, but it's a custom formula. Uh, it's not too similar to Ascend, but in a sense it is. The reason it's called Dominant Ascend is because it has a lot of the same effects that Ascend does. But it's dominating. To me, personally, if you've seen my videos, if you've seen who I am as a person, domination, dominance does not really vibe well with, with who my character is. Like, it's not something that I really generally um, perceive myself as being. So when I wore this, I actually didn't have the results that I liked. Um, because, for one... It mostly works well on people who are able to assert their dominance, who are able to really push forth their masculinity. But for me, that's not something that I'm able to do easily. Uh, it's something that doesn't fit with who I am as a person. So I really don't use this much. Uh, XS170, it's, it's good to have in my arsenal. It was an experimental, and I definitely got it for free as a sample. So I appreciate it, and I love having it in my arsenal. But... It's one of those things that I don't see myself using the rest of. So if anybody wants this, let me know. It's got like one third or one fourth left. Aha, love boat. Okay, I remember when I mistakenly said that I bought two bottles of this when I was talking about vibes because that was a total lie. It was actually two bottles of love boat. Love boat is really interesting. It's a social pheromone, just like vibes. It has something called androsterone sulfate in it, which is an energetic pheromone. And when you're wearing it, it kind of like peps you up, kind of makes you feel like like you are awake, so to speak. Um, it's pretty useful. It's a social pheromone. It can be used by men, can be used by women, can be used by anybody. And the effect that it gives is it like kind of, it's, it's energetic. I genuinely think that Love Boat might be a little bit of a misnomer, but it's a very versatile pheromone. You can use it almost any time of day 
well, you can use it any time of day, and you can mix it with a lot of different pheromones too. Next up, we have another bottle of Exist. <laughs> Remember how I said I bought four bottles? This is one of those bottles as well. So I'm gonna leave it right here. Man, I got, where is it? That ain't Exist. Right here. That's one of those things, man, like it's such a good compound. It's such a good blend. Um, I, I will buy it till the end of time. It's something that I use even in a relationship because it just enhances that amazing, uh, That's a cameo by Kaza the Cat. Uh, it's just something that's very useful to have in your in your arsenal. This is the next one is Bliss. Bliss is pretty cool. Bliss is very specific in the way it can be used. Uh, I don't find I have too much success combining it with other things, but what I do have success with is to relieve tension, relieve anxiety, relieve any type of stress. It does an incredible job at just dissolving almost any pain or a nuisance that you may be experiencing in the moment it's kind of like in a way the way it descri i'm describing it and the way i've described it in my other videos is very similar to a drug uh the obvious thing is that it's not one uh it doesn't actually take away your problems it just lessens lessens the stress and the tension that those problems may cause in your day-to-day -day life um it's it's very useful it can be therapeutic at times however obviously it is not a replacement to actual medical attention in cases where that may be needed uh, so definitely don't want that to be misconstrued but it is very helpful at alleviating any low relatively uh, less than ideal mood next up is my taboo sample this is going to go right with my other taboo i have duplicates of a few things this one is barely legal I've actually never used this one before. It's still unopened in its thing. Uh, reason is that I got this after I had already started my relationship. And I don't necessarily have this a need to be using Barely Legal. Unfortunately, I don't have any advice. I have no experience. I have nothing to report on it. So I'm going to leave it a little bit over here. Um, Evolve. This one. This is a killer right here. This one is one of the flagship... Compounds. This is one of their um, highlighted blends. However, I have not had much success with it personally because it does not fit with who I am as a person. This is mostly for people who are got plenty of game, who have uh, the desire and the ability to pick up people, pick up uh, girls on the first night or day second night. Uh, this just like very very much for one nights, but something that I haven't been able to use. So therefore, I have pretty much a full freaking bottle. This one is for sale, so for like severe discount from what you would be purchasing uh, like at retail. So if you're curious about this, I'll definitely sell it for a discount. I'm going to send my text message down or I'm going to send my phone number down below or my email address, uh, whichever I decide after when I'm uploading this. So you can contact me for any of these actually. What else do I have? Okay, so this next one. I've never talked about it in any of my videos, and I've never really had an opportunity to test it, but I reached out to them around Christmas time of 2019, which is last year, and I reached out to them and I said, hey, I've heard about your company, I've heard some good things about you guys, uh, I do make a YouTube channel, I do have a YouTube channel on these type of compounds, a pheromone, so why not, if you care to, send me some samples and I'll be happy to make a video. I'll be happy to make a video on them. So after after a lot of testing, quite a bit of testing, and in order to do them justice, I'm finally making some kind of mention to them on this channel. However, I to be giving them the true justice that they deserve, they will be getting a full separate video after this. And this is a company called Love Potion. Somebody I've come across, it's a magical perfumery, which fits right in to everything that I talk about on this channel. Magic and pheromones together. My God, the the person that I communicated with, I believe her name was Mara or Mara. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Looks like there's a team of six people, Mara, John, Israel, Alexis, Jen, and Charlie. And the person I communicated with was Mara, right? She was very humble. Uh, I said that I have 
uh, YouTube channel and that I would like to have some samples of your products and that way I can use them and talk about them and they were so generous man like they so freaking generous and they didn't give me just one or two samples they gave me a whole handful of samples right and this is like god it's just so many two let me do it this way like they did not give me any shortage of samples so i'm gonna run through these a little bit real quick this one is called uh hom homie hom i don't know how to say it. it's the french word i guess for for male it's a very uh, it's a very attractive blend and the thing about these love potion perfumes is they're not just pheromones they've actually been infused with a little bit of extra stuff like magic and they're over there in vancouver washington which is not too far from where i used to live so it's kind of cool to see uh, somebody from from that side of the planet. I hope they're. I really hope they're doing okay in this uh, in this time period. Washington got pretty, hit pretty hard. So anyway, home is something that is really useful. It's very masculine. It's a very uh, dominant. It's not a dominant one. It's almost similar to ascend in a lot of ways. I find it to be quite useful in very similar ways. Where is my ascend? Yeah, it's very similar. It's used in a lot of the same ways. And the way that it works, it's really simple. The way the Love Potion, these samples anyway, I don't know how their actual products work because I've never actually purchased a, a full product. Uh, the way that this one works is you kind of open it and there's a little dipstick in it. And you dip it in. Well, actually, you, when it's closed, when it's closed, you like, kind of shake it up or whatever. It gets that uh, fragrance on the little dipstick and then you just take the dipstick in and dab yourself in a couple different places and you don't need very much at all it's a very concentrated extremely concentrated and potent fragrance uh the thing with these is i'm thoroughly impressed i'm beyond impressed by the quality of work that they have it is by far the number one fragrance that i've ever had and not just this particular one not just this ohm i'm talking about every single one of these is master crafted the fragrance is really good even my girlfriend loves the fragrances like she was like the first time I used them I got excited I opened the bag yeah from, I, from the package that I got in the mail I was like hey look 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 the fragrances came in so I like being like a little kid I I opened it I'm like hey check this out check this out I smelled it and it smelled amazing so I, I let her smell it too and she liked it too so these are high quality designer fragrances and I'm talking about high-end upscale designer fragrances I've never seen a pheromone company that had fragrances of this quality I'm gonna be honest I've smelled some good pheromones before, but nothing as good as this. Now, this is something that they've been doing, looks like, since 1986. They have mastered their craft. They have been doing such a good job. Uh, and 1986 is a long-ass time. That's like 36 years. They've really had a lot of time to master their craft. So I wish that more people knew about them. I wish that a lot more people talked about them. I know they're pretty famous in the female community. Uh, well, in the female pheromone community. But not so much in the male community. They don't have enough attention that... Uh, at, that I think they deserve because they have some solid products. Here's another one. It's called the rooster and And here's the thing I didn't look up. I didn't get a chance to read any reviews I didn't get a chance to look up anything on what any of these did I'm just like assuming that based on what their name is I use their name and I take a wild guess based on the reactions that I'm seeing in other people the reactions I'm seeing in myself I just use that information as best as I can to form my opinions on them. So the rooster to me, is what what is a rooster? It's a male chicken, right? There's usually one, or uh, in the in the whole farm, and this I assume it's a attracting pheromone, and I find that to be the case. It is very good for attracting. Uh, it's not something that I use every day. It is something that I rarely use actually, because uh, the way that the effect that it has is that it's supposed to be attracting, and I'm not really trying to attract anybody because I already have somebody, so I don't really use this. But this fragrance, let me smell this. The rooster. It's a spicy. It's a spicy fragrance. It's got, um, it's got musky, musky tones to it. Uh, I didn't really get to describe the om. The om is one of the best, man. It smells like something that you would like, almost like what you would find in Hollister. Like you know how you walked into that store at the mall, the store called Hollister, and you walk in and the whole place just smells like perfume or like fragrance. Kind of like what that's kind of what home smells like. 
Here's another one. Kingmaker. This is very obviously to me an alpha pheromone. And I found that to be the case. That's what I've been using it for mostly is when I go to work. Uh, I pour a couple dabs on, of this on there and it tends to work really well. Um, people do have respect. They maintain their respect more so than normal. Uh, let me see what this smells like. It's hard to open. That's the only thing about these sample packs. It's a really good fragrance, man. This is like polo. Like, that polo blue. It's... That, like, polo blue, I'm pretty sure, is like $50, $60 for a big bottle. This is something that has that fragrance. Amazing fragrance, but also has the uh, alpha characteristics in it. Like, I'm just, like, really, really, really impressed by these people, man. Like, I, they deserve an entire video dedicated to them. This one is called Tonka Musk. Tonka Musk. Each one of them has, like, little neat art art graphics. And this is just a guy. Guy with a without a shirt on. And it's Tonka Musk. And it's uh, something I haven't really found to be too useful to me. Uh, the fragrance is pretty good. Uh, it is... A 2014, I guess, artwork addiction, edition, edition, 2014 edition. Yeah, it's pretty musky. It's like the essence of musk. Like if you think of the flavor or fragrance of musk, that's exactly what it is. That's literally what it is. It doesn't have much else. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is. I like the fragrance, but it's not something I use very often my favorite ones are definitely kingmaker and um there's one more that i actually don't have and i'm kind of it said i think it's in my backpack so i'll have to go get it i'll pause this video in a little bit and um i will i'll go run and grab it and i'll show you but that's the last thing i'm going to show of this company so this next one is called scribe it's a pretty cool artwork scribe it's it's really cool man they, that's another thing that i like about uh love potion is they have a lot of really badass artwork i when i first opened this box uh that i got from love potion i cracked it open and i looked at all the artwork i was just admiring the artwork for like a long time a long time i want to say like i was just there for about 20 30 minutes just admiring the artwork because it's really cool that local i think they get local artists or artists in general yeah, this one is named uh, by Leonard Jim Narciso. And judging by the title, Scribe, I, I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, being similar to Connections. It's this one. Connections. I assume that Scribe has the same molecule as, as Connections. Connections has Beta and Drusenol. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, that's what Scribe has as well. The name and the experience that I got from from using this it makes me think that it is beta androsinol based let's see what the smell is oh man it's really good it's really really good <laughs> this little guy right here passed out oh, that's a really good fragrance i don't even know how to describe it it's like it's citrusy to a degree, and it's floral, but it's pretty masculine. This one, I don't really use this. I don't really use this. I don't want to say anything bad about it because I'm sure it's a great product, but it's called Teddy Man, and um, it's it doesn't fit with what I want to be. It seems like it's a very demasculating, um, it's a very cuddly, uh, little childish type deal, and um, that's not to say it's not a good pheromone because I honestly haven't used it. I used it once, and I just remember... Uh, that the name made me not really curious in using it more. Mm, this has a strong pepper flavor, pepper and citrus scent, and I like the scents. I'm not gonna, I have to give them that. I really have to give them that. It's really good for you. All right, one second. I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna run and grab the other one that I'm talking about. All right, I'm back. I ran and grabbed it. This is the. The ultimate love potion product that I've ever used and I'm pretty much almost out of this stuff I, I wish I can show you I don't know if you can really tell uh, it's so small I don't think you can tell there's like a very small amount left but this one has a very powerful powerful uh, formula to get in the mood if you don't if you know what I mean not just on me but on the opposite sex as well like my girlfriend it really really worked on both of us and the fragrance like both of us agree 
Like, this smells so freaking good. It's like the best scent that I've ever smelled. I can't stop smelling this. Like, I keep this, it's in my backpack. That's how, <laughs> like, that's how good it is. Like, I keep it on my person because it is by far my favorite product. Ah, <sighs> man. So, it's like, I had to wear it on me. Like, it's, what, 10 o'clock at night? I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but I just love the smell. <sighs> Man, okay, it's like citrus. It's like lime. Lime and lemon essence. Um, and a little bit of pine or some kind of greenery, like pine essence. I don't think it's pine tree. But anyway, this is a very powerful, sexually stimulating compound. It gets you in the mood. And it definitely... It, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 product. I need to make a video dedicated to this particular product. It's called... I don't even think I said the name yet, have I? Here, let me stop teasing you guys. It's called Pasha Zaid. Pasha Zaid. I don't know how to say it. It's P-A-S-H-A-Z-A-D-E. I'm guessing it's a reference to something. This looks like a... This image kind of looks like it's something from a movie. It might be for a reference from a movie or some kind of pop culture thing from a, a historical time, maybe like 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. Um, something that that the font almost reminds me of that genie. I forgot what show it was called. Uh, it was like this genie. It was this white girl who would wiggle her nose and would make things happen. It was, she was a witch or a genie. I forgot, I really forgot the name, I wish I remembered, uh, but my mom used to watch it, and I used to watch it with her a long time ago, anyway, this, hands down, I wish I had this fragrance by itself, like, this would be my go-to scent, like, my cologne that I would use on a daily basis, alright guys, that's all for the pheromones that I have on my person, um, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. I'm surprised that anybody even sticks around these things and watches. According to my analytics, people usually drop out of my videos by like the fifth minute. <laughs> but anyway, if you've watched this long, I really appreciate it. Uh, support some of these vendors. They're all good vendors. Um, I would definitely recommend XS and, um, and Love Potion. These are some of the best vendors that I've come across in my entire life. Uh, XS by far has my heart. They have been, I've been a fanboy since day one, ever since I had that experience combining Taboo and Connections together. They just really rock, man. They really rock. And this is something that if you have never used pheromones before and you're looking to enhance your life or looking to have a little bit of fun or some kind of excitement in your life, it puts a nice little twist on your day-to-day -day life. Because, of course, you're going to be going on, your, on a daily basis. You're going to be going and interacting with people. That's just something that's a given. In this day and age, you're just going to have to accept the fact that people are there, people exist, and people are judging every second of the day in order to take advantage, full take advantage of this world that you're living in. Uh, I have personally made a decision to use pheromones, subliminals, and magic in order to give me a leg up, give me an advantage in, in society. I can't say I've had the best successes with it, uh, with how much advantage I get, but it definitely tips the scale in my favor. If if life was moderate, it would be a little bit more enhanced with all three subliminals, magic, and pheromones. Like, I'm always trying to get a little extra edge. I'm always really trying to reach that next step, like, get a little bit further than somebody else. And this is one of the, pheromones are one of the advantages that I have, that I use in my arsenal. It allows like if you think about it on a daily basis women use makeup makeup is a very specific uh function in a female's characteristic they they use it to appear a certain way to improve their uh, appearance to enhance their appearance pheromones are like the same thing they enhance your appearance but not visually it's very subconsciously so anyway guys appreciate you watching this video uh, if you buy a pheromone excess products, be sure to do it through my link. It would really help me and support my channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Talk, tell me about what, what you had with your experiences. Tell me about anything. Ask me questions. Ask anything. I answer all my comments, guys. All right. Take care. Peace.